My name is Ember. Welcome to my little lullaby nursery. I promise you'll be very safe and well cared for here, sweetheart. But you look sleepy right now. So why don't we get you all settled down for a nice little rest, hmm? Doesn't that sound lovely? Yes, that sounds so good, doesn't it, little one? Just lie back now, that's right, and close those sleepy eyes. I'll stay right here with you while you drift away. You can just listen to the lovely soft sounds of my voice and the pretty music in the background and drift away into peaceful rest now. That's right. Good boy. Now that you're all settled in, with your eyes closed, I want you to take a nice deep through your nose and hold it for just a second or two and then breathe gently out through your mouth. Just take a couple of big breaths just like that. Nice and easy. Just a couple more. Big deep breaths in through your nose, holding for just a little bit, and then letting it all go again, letting your body relax more comfortably down, just as easy as that, sweetheart. I speak to you now. I want you to keep on breathing slowly and deeply for me. Slowly and deeply. Just allowing your body to relax more and more with each breath. fall into a natural rhythm, a natural depth, as you are getting so very comfortable now, and just feeling good, that's right, and as you do that, as you relax and breathe and listen to my voice, I wonder if you can imagine for me the color red. Perhaps it might be just the color itself. A vibrant wash of red that paints over your imagination in one solid stroke. Or it might be You're thinking of an object that has the color red. A bright red apple, perhaps. Or a fire truck, gleaming and shining. And it's interesting how sometimes there are very specific feelings that can come to you as you imagine a color. And as you imagine the color red now, I wonder, can you reach inside your mind and find a good feeling that you associate with the color red? A very happy feeling. Love, perhaps. Like when you see a big red heart shape. 
whatever you pick. Just focus on that good feeling for me, sweetheart. And that lovely, bright color. Just relaxing and feeling it. And as you focus there, your body just naturally resting. See that color in your mind, gently, slowly, easily fade into orange, maybe just the color, or some object that is colored orange, or something that reminds you of the color orange. Let that feeling fill up your mind and find a good feeling or happy memory that goes with that color for you, my sweet little boy. Maybe fall leaves or sunset or carving big pumpkins. Pick a bright, happy feeling that makes you feel amazing, just as good as thinking of red made you feel, and relaxing more and more now, letting your mind drift, as that orange color fades to yellow, bright, beautiful yellow, the color of sunshine and flowers, and all the happy, good feelings that come from the color yellow, filling your mind now. As you just breathe, relax, allow yourself to feel so good for me. It can be so very wonderful, can't it? To think of all the nice things that you can associate with the colors in your mind. Your imagination swirling with beautiful colors as you sink down more comfortably still and that bright, beautiful yellow fades to green. And green is such an amazing color, isn't it, sweetheart? Green is so vibrant and alive, so peaceful and relaxing. And you can think about all the wonderful things that are green and how good they make you feel needles and plants, soft grass in the garden, green apples and lime lollipops, and all those lovely feelings you associate with the color green. As your sleepy mind flicks between one thing and another, Perhaps slipping back to yellow or red for a moment. Or remembering the feelings of orange before sliding down to green again. And that beautiful green fades to blue in your mind. And you can choose what type of blue it is. 
It might be deep, royal blue, or a pale sky blue, or any of the hundreds of different shades of blue in the world. You are only limited by your imagination. So that means you aren't limited at all. And just allowing that lovely color to fill your mind now. Fill your senses. As you remember or imagine feeling and seeing, imagining or inventing the objects and colors and sensations, letting them flow through you as you sink down. Deeper down now, sweetheart. Feeling so good. So relaxed and peaceful. As that color, too, fades gently away. Replaced by a deep, velvety indigo. Rich, perfect indigo. A swirling whirl of blues and purples. Filling your sleepy mind. And you can think about how good it feels to think about indigo, how peaceful and safe, how deeply relaxing, and that's wonderful, and still those other colors can slide back into your mind as you listen as you imagine, as you feel between red and green, and indigo and orange, and how many good feelings there are associated with each one. How many nice things there are in the world and in your sleepy mind. That deep indigo fades to violet now. And just like a rainbow in the silky sky above you, that violet shade is so delicate and soft, so gentle, and it can be difficult to see it all, difficult to keep it in your mind, it all seems so far away. A little miracle in the sky. Something to wonder at from far above, from afar. And as you think about that, your softly resting mind can just let it go, little one. Let all of those colors go. 
for a sweet thing like you. Or even juice or water. Anything in your bottle represents a lovely feeling of security and care of protection and pleasure. It makes you feel good, sweetheart, when you put that soft rubber tip between your lips, sucking and feeling the nourishing liquid spill out onto your tongue. The soothing drink sliding down your little and into your tummy, filling you up with a sense of complete comfort and relaxation. It simply makes you happy, little one. It makes you feel good, warm and safe and relaxed, with no worries at all. Just the rhythmic suckling and the feeling of soothing liquid filling your mouth, drowning out everything else for a while. In your little mindset, you always feel good when you drink from your bottle. It feels completely natural completely normal. It feels right to reach for your bottle and drink down comfort and security from it. Your baby bottle is special. It brings you such peace. All of those wonderful feelings of being cared for and protected automatically arise when you put the soft rubber tip to your lips and draw it into your mouth. The nourishing liquid inside bringing restful, sleepy relaxation. Drinking from your bottle is a good thing, sweetheart. Something a little boy like you craves. And so you can enjoy it without complication. You enjoy using your bottle to drink without a care in the world. It feels so right, so normal, so good to drink from your baby bottle. So good to sink into the peaceful relaxation with the teat in your mouth and the taste of milk or juice on your tongue. When you don't need to worry about spilling or dropping or anything breaking. When you can even drift off to sleep with it still in your mouth, little one. If that's what you feel like doing. In this way, your baby bottle represents such complete freedom and a relaxation. Freedom to be who you are and do what you want to do. And so you reach for it automatically. Just like a little child who has learned that the bottle means comfort, care, nourishment, and peace. You too can remember these lost feelings and enjoy drinking from your bottle. In your little mindset, a cup or mug means absolutely nothing good to you. It has no associated feelings of peace. It is neutral, 
simply a random object without good inherent meaning. Your bottle, though, means the world to you. Your bottle means comfort and care. Your bottle means that your needs are being met. Your bottle means love. And you do love to use your baby bottle, sweetheart. There is nothing more natural. Nothing more relaxing. Nothing else that feels quite the same. Drinking from your bottle makes you feel truly little. Truly the little child you are inside. Drinking from your bottle makes all of your grown-up thoughts float away. Until all that remains is your sweet little self, peacefully suckling, drinking down milk or juice or anything else you like in your bottle. Until your little tummy is full and satisfied, you feel so sleepy and content. And that's good, sweetheart. It's good for you to feel that way. Good to allow yourself to enjoy the experience without any grown-up worries getting in the way. In your little mindset, drinking from your bottle is all you know. Anything else would be meaningless. And so you automatically reach for your bottle when you feel a need for this special sort of comfort and care. You reach for your bottle because you are just a little child. And doing so is completely normal for you, little one. But right now, it's time for you to awaken from this lovely trance and continue on with your day. You've been such a very good boy, listening so well and paying such close attention. And I'm very proud of you. When you wake up, you will feel so very good, so happy and relaxed completely free to enjoy drinking from your baby bottle whenever you want to. Ready to wake up now, sweetheart, from the count of three. Three, and you can begin to awaken now from trance, little one. Nice and easy. Gently coming back to consciousness. Two. Sleepy little eyes opening up now. Feeling good. Feeling happy. More aware with each breath. And one. Coming fully back to consciousness now. Good boy, stretching out those muscles, feeling good, awake and aware, refreshed and happy, ready for whatever comes next today. Just don't stay away from my little lullaby nursery for too long. I would miss you. <laughs>